wherever you are, chat. From your boy, the seven-time Super Bowl champion, the man, the myth, the legend, Jelly. And today, I'm back. I'm playing the Madden. Good old Madden. And they finally got some new Ultimate Legends challenges. So, we're going to jump right into it. I got to upload the thumbnail. Upload the thumbnail. No. Discard. Live. Okay. Thumbnails being uploaded. Now, I got an Ultimate Legend and in, in, in Shannon and Ed Reed, but I feel like if I get, I think if I get the, the, the rest of these week challenges, not these week, you know, I'm not saying it like that. The rest of this week's challenges, you got DeMarco Murray and Rodney Harrison. Um, I think I'll have enough to get, I think, a 98 overall Ultimate Legend. So all I got to do is, is just do these one-star challenges. They're on easy. Eh. The coach here, and welcome to this ultimate challenge. Sit back and relax. You're in for a real treat with this matchup. All I got to just do is run. To complete all the challenge goals to get the win. You can view the goal Man at time from the pause menu. Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. Taking you the rest of the way. Here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Brandon. Thank you, coach. We pick up this challenge. Rush for 35. Number. The challenge is always the same at the end. Win the game. Welcome, everybody. I'm the coach. Up next, another ultimate challenge on E. It's raining. Sports. That's what we like to see. Different to weather. All the challenge goals. <coughs> You can view the goals at any time from the pause menu. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. Let's get back <coughs> and Charles. In <coughs> this challenge in the second quarter with less than three minutes remaining. We're all tied up 13 apiece. You've got the ball on your side of the field as we get set here first. All right, nobody set. told y'all to be going this crazy. I'm just trying to get like my quick outside handle. I got a rush for 10 yards right here. 94 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. You bastard. They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. A 20th carry coming up now for Murray. I fucked that up. Not quite enough that time. Maybe just try a lower. And now the offense getting set first and ten. Back to the ground game. Here's Murray. DeMarco Murray. Kiss him goodbye. Inside the 20. Got it that time. Congratulations. I'm pretty sure the next Basically what I just did I hope to God I can get some good games today No bullshit, no selling Just maybe some interactions And this is an ultimate challenge For this next challenge You need to complete all the challenge goals To get the win You can view the goals at any time From the pause menu Let's send it down to Brandon Godden And Charles Davis for the call all right, coach, here's the situation for this challenge. We're in the fourth quarter, and there's only 90 seconds left in the game. Well, damn. By four, but you're in the red zone, second and long. Rodgers in control as he hurries his guys to the line. That was second down run for Murray. we got to get kudos to the offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third manageable with that run. 
He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late. The defensive challenges now, Rodney Harrison. I can't allow more than 25 yards. Hello, everyone. You're watching Ultimate Challenges, and I'm your host, the coach. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenge goals to get the win. You can view the goals at any time from the, from the pause, pause menu. menu. The charger drive about to get going. And partner, I know so far, we're still in the... Now the ball comes loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Nicely done. Another one up. Another... Just two plays. Don't allow more than 10 yards. Just two plays. Hello, and welcome to this Madden Ultimate Team Showdown. I'm your host, the coach. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenge goals to get the win. Oh, I see why. Goals at any time from the pause menu. Now let's hand it off to Brandon and Charles as we jump straight into the action. Thanks, coach. This challenge begins in the fourth quarter. Oh, and they was on the second. You're ahead by just a field goal. Your opponent has possession in the red zone, and it's third and long. Throwing to a... And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Congratulations. Don't allow a touchdown. Hey, folks. It's the coach here. Welcome back for another exciting matchup in Madden Ultimate Team. For this next challenge, you need to complete all the challenge goals to get the win. You can we might be here. We might have to do this in more than one try, probably. Now, Allen, to finish this out, here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. This challenge begins in the fourth quarter with less than two minutes to go in the ball game. You're ahead by four, but your opponent is knocking on the door on your six-yard line. Second and ten. To throw is Allen. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. This Buffalo crowd letting him have it. Third down now. And he can't get it from him. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So we got to stop right here. Challenge them. Allen. Wow. And this is caught. Touchdown. Wow. So this offense able to convert on fourth, and now a fresh set of downs here, first and ten. Now Allen. We get a turnover. And he's gonna go down. Sacked right around the 17. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. They hand this off to Harris. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Now the Bills will hustle to the line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Diggs crossing the field and bringing it in. Allen trying to hurry everybody up to the line of scrimmage. Word to your mother, I swear. On fourth down, Allen. Let's go. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn... If he would have made that pass, I would have been like, come on. Not even 10 minutes in and we did it. That was quick. win the game, right? Yeah. Let me just see something real quick.
Well, there's no point in doing that one. I'm not going to get the next award reward anyway. I got what I needed. So, sets. Program. Ultimate Legends. Yeah, right here. Damn. Damn. Uh, right tackle. Damn. Imagine doing all it is just to get a right tackle. I should get Mean Joe. I should get Mean Joe. Who is my corners? I got a 98 corner. I got a 99 defensive tackle. I complain about Derrick Henry all the time. His catching's an 84. But me and Joe would definitely be the answer to that defensive tackle situation. Shit, he's better than Arik. My son Dion, prom Tom Sanders. Uh, damn. I'm gonna take Mean Joe. I'm gonna take Mean Joe. All right, this is what we got to do. With the addition of Mean Joe, we are now a 96 overall. could get a two AP ability on this boy. I'm gonna have to sell something, probably. Let's see. Quicker run sheds against inside zone plays. Grants unbreakable demoralizing hit sticks. Grants dominant pass runs at twice the cost. Dominant pass rush moves from the altimeter. I could do both. And I could do the lurker thing. Um, Acrobat, diving catches and swats. Wow, I didn't know that. I uh, didn't know he'd have that ability. You got a 1 AP on something, my boy? I might just fucking put the damn... These are whack. All right. So, at least a 2 AP. No, we already got that. Adds a pass rush point to all linemen. Nah. No, I no, can't do that. I wouldn't want to do that. Uh. Mm. 
Strip specialist would be cool. Strip specialist would definitely be cool. Reach Ely, able to sack, tackle slash sack while engaged with blockers. I like that. Make this nigga powerful. All right. We got a 99 Mean Joe up in the mix. Yeah, I'm busy. All right. Next, that means the wackest thing would be my cornerbacks now, which are 95s. My defense is a 97 now because of that bad boy. Is he not on? You would think he would be a top. Oh, no, he right there. It's just that there's two Justin Jeffersons. I'm tweaking. All right. Let's get into it. Stoned ghost. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his Yo, game, ghost. your team's not going ghost to face play. killer. Here's the punter now. Nah. Oh for one. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. Here comes All the time, Mr. anytime. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16 yard line. Here's Love looking to pass. Oh, Jesus. You never know. To pass, here's Jordan Love. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 18 yards the game for number 18. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Wow. Taysom Hill complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. To throw now. Here's Love. What the fuck? Jefferson open downfield. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses. Yeah, I got Morris. I didn't even get Moore's. Like, he jumped all on top of him. He secured that catch. I get sneezed at. I'm dropping that ball. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Going to the air on the opening drive. That's. What? What? A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward. They're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Henry. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. So second and goal, and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. Well, he's going to change the play here. Can I stop this man? At the one. Second down and goal. I hate that shit. If he would have stepped up, that's an inso. Tucker able to connect on the 
extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. I wish I had a better reaction, Tom. Because if I knew somebody was there, I could have, you know, clicked on. That's an intro. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move. The ultimate answer is: Can I put up points now? The ultimate answer. The ultimate question. As you can see, I have that ability now where I can see who he is on. He's on Mr. Diggs, as you can see. Now he's on Kendricks. Now he's on Ray Lewis. Now he's shuffling. Step up, step back. Now Rogers. He's got his man short complete. It'll be gain of five. And it'll be second down. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 31. On play action, it's Rogers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 17 yard line. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up second down. Here's Rodgers. Oh, that's crazy. Here's going to be incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. And again, it's Rodgers. Throw left side, completion to Rice. Touchdown! Jerry Rice! Because that last, I thought I at least caught the ball last time. Jerry Rice in the end zone is a sight we are sure used to seeing. Not only does he have the most receiving touchdowns in NFL history, he was also the fastest to get to 100. It took him, I think we have, yeah, we've got it here, 120 games to get to 100. Just staggering. A staggering number. But you have to remember with Jerry Rice. I think this is the Madden that I've done the most challenges and like unlock the most sets, like getting high overalls without having to spend a lot of coins. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to beat down Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better. Ah, uh, I should have seen the screen. Fuck. First down as the tackle's made at the Packers 34 yard line. Love from the gun. Got him that time. The job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack at second and 20. Here's Love. This will go to Henry out wide. Just a gain of a couple there. Uh, they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, 
I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy. I'm missing a play. Expecting him to be able to create something there we go. a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Third and long for Love. Pass taken in, but it's been tied in. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle. Who told them to pick that? Okay, ready? I hate that shit so much. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And now to compensate, at least on this drive, a momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Now again, it's love. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll try and run for it with Henry. Fucking Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. We're having me and him both ain't doing shit on defense. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Tucker with the extra point. And that's the whack part. It's like, okay, we got some defense, some stops. I think he's done more on defense than I have. And whosoever shall be found without the toes are getting down. Uh, my man's digs. It's Diggs, Kendricks, and Ray. I wonder. Oh, no! That's on me. That was a stupid throw. Sequence there trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there and they weren't able to capitalize. Oh. That's something that could come back and haunt them later. Wow, and diving and he's got a full extension. What a catch! A well executed 22 yard game. <laughs> Throwing love. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Come on, we need a stop. The team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Oh my god! Damn! Short field payoff. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Let's go! 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 let us go the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. And that one caught by Rice. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Given back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16. And another first down. Rodgers going to throw. Open man right side is Rice. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. He's got McCaffrey open to play. And the timeout comes in with two seconds remaining. 
So they can try out the field goal unit for the try before we hit the lockers. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. Badgley's I'll take it. And that will do it for this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. I will take it. That was beautiful. We needed everything we could get just now. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. This taken in right around the goal line. Hard running at the 15. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half. Close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own and regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Oh, it's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer. On play action, Rogers. Over the middle, Schertz got it complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Now Rogers. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, that's a that's a that you Let's move up the field. It's a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. Oof. Nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Rodgers again now. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler Jr. Defensive end gets in there that Damn. time. They were in a 4-3. What's the responsibility the ends versus the tackles there, Charles? Well, most of the time when you talk about the ends, they're your pass rushers. They're, they're the guys that you turn loose to try and get to What? The oh, that's sad. Usually more of the run stuffing variety. But the way this game is advanced, it's okay, C Mac. Slants. You see the slants. Can't get away, and he's taken down. A loss of three on the sack made by multiple defenders. A tough spot here. Third and 15. Out of the shotgun. It's love. Let's go. Set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six yard line. 
Let's get this. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. To throw is Rodgers. They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. That'll bring out second and goal after the gain of five. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On second down, here's Rodgers. Damn. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Rodgers with a keeper, trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. Only a few inches needed on the sneak. He didn't get it, and now it's fourth down. It all comes down to this. And God, we held on to that ball. Let's get one of those famous stops that we got. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The pressure is on now. They're being shut out here in the second half after a decent first half offensively. They need their best drive of the game right here. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. To throw now. Here's Love. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds. Incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but it'll be second down. Here's Love. Throw right side. Going to be taken in by Derrick Henry. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past uh. the 45. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. First down, Eagles. Again, it's love. Let's go! Got it though. Fucking let's go. Man, I did I ran the ball. I only ran two yards. Could have swore I ran for more than that. I went to house rules. Yep, claim my rewards. Five chocolates. This event is not available. We got a dub.
Let's keep it going, hopefully. Yo, Sticky. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about Sticky TV. I think it oh, Jesus. With our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. Oh, my God. Nowadays, What's his team name? Brown Starfish. The way the game is played, Starfish. The Star Bright, Starlight. Him, Where you at? Yo, Sticky. Game, your team's not going to benefit at all. No Sticky. Here's the punter now, Pat McAfee, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. They got a 99 Randy Moore's. Oh. And he's able to get it across the 20 to the 25-yard line. Oh. Yo, what up, Sticky? Oh. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Yo, Sticky, what up, bro? Yo, chat, Sticky got a mic, but he can't hear me and use it at the same time or something. First play, first throw coming for Vic. Huh? And his first pass is incomplete. I will see trying to get him the football Yo, Sticky, subscribe to the channel. We live right now, man, if you can hear me. Wide open. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and ten at the 49-yard line. Here's Michael Vick. Wow. Eric Dickerson. Damn. Come on, Eric. This is Eric Dickerson, four-time rushing champ. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Come on, people now. There's Vic. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved. Just as you said, they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays and give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal that's absolutely huge with the play. Here. I'll take it. <coughs> Yo, Sticky, if you can hear me, like I said, my YouTube is my gamer tag. We live right now. Go sub, man. Yo, Sticky! What up? After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. You got me nervous with your team, man. You got 99s, bro. This taken in right around the goal oh. line. Oh. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. I hope you stick. I hope you be yo sticky. Thanks for tuning in. He said, and I'm still ass, man. Real shit. Don't sweat it, man. That don't mean nothing. Your team is nice. Your teams can make up for that assness. Yeah, 
And he got Bo Jackson. Yeah. All right. Any dude that any dude that goes for the field goal, that means they got faith in their defense. He gonna stop me. It's starting. Oh my God! Don't do me like this, Sticky. He said he's ass. That boy's a liar. Alright. Fucking Seahawk. Come on, this is for mama. 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 We still alive. We Tell you, my offensive line needs to be upgraded. At least the middle part. Oh. Yo, Adam, can you relax? Need the secure protectors. I need you to, like, ease up. My man's sticky is on a fucking mission, yo. Yes, we are. Yes, 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 we will. Yes, we will. Like Shaq's free throws, I make it when it counts. Nigga said lucky. Suck my dick. <laughs> Brandon Godden. What a bitch. Nigga said lucky. You lucky your voice sounds like that. Or else you wouldn't have a job. How about that for luck? Take that for data. Yo, Sticky, you stream sniper? You, you looking at my plays? This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. He likes that Zach Collins or Nico Collins. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And he's got this down to the 35. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. It's either Zach Collins or Nico Collins. Second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. That'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position. Yo, what overall is that, Bo Jackson? They become just as critical to the passing attack. As a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Rogers 98. Lord have mercy. And that's a middle linebacker, Bo Jackson. First down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Right outside linebacker. With a secondary position of middle linebacker. Oh! I put him at sub linebacker. Oh, okay. 
I get it. Top linebacker two. Or the, yeah. No, I already know what he's talking about. Yeah, the specialists, right? He's talking about the specialists. Ninety nine. Was that Warren Sapp that tackled me? So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're gonna go for it on fourth and seven. Rogers gonna throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. That niggas fumbled me. Remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. Fuck. I got fumbled on it on an out of all things, I got fumbled. I have 399s on my D-Launch. I'm not sure. We're talking about their jersey number, right? And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Well, he cannot get away. Down goes Vic. <sighs> Finally. Miles Garrett. Boy, every time I see speed like that off the edge, Charles, I just don't know how these offensive linemen do it. They, I would think that they would get called for holding every play, and maybe they should have been called for holding on that one. Yeah, maybe not just holding, but sometimes you end up setting back in the offensive backfield a little bit farther to try and help you with the edge. That's a penalty as well. Sometimes you overset, and they'll come inside of you. That's what speed does. Oh, come on. That's somebody's catch. Attention to this edge rusher on every single down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Vic goes play action. Uh, I should have stayed on him. Lord. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Going to give it up the middle. Here's Dickerson. Fights off the defender, and he's able to get it down to the two yard line. From the two now, second and goal. Damn it. Come on, Sticky. Watch this. They'll try and run for it here with Dickerson. And diving to try to get the first down. He's going to be a little bit shy of the marker. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. I kind of figured that. Denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Inside give to Dickerson. Come on, that's crazy. Why would you push him forward? It's these animations. Why would you push him forward? Shit wild, bro. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taking it about anyway. one. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Damn it.
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this. Hey. Damn it. Y'all niggas need to protect me more. Tried it. And it was Troy. A final shot before half for Rogers. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's gonna be made at the Seahawks 43. Hopefully I can turn it around in the second quarter. Fucking siren. Ten nothing is our score as we get started again on EA A field goal definitely helped me. Here comes Yo. Just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have What up, Sticky? He only gets this out to the sixteen yard line. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Your team is beating my ass right now, man. Adjustments this offense made in the locker room haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. Something definitely needs to change here in quarter three. The ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. Wow. No, like, yo, y'all niggas, like, come on. Whoa. He didn't move. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16 yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Bastard. Dickerson on the handoff. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Yeah, I don't got the coins for that. God, Lord. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes our score 17 nothing. All right, Chet, we need to turn this game around. I hate losing. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm going through it, man. What's your team's overall? Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Damn. Yeah, I'm only, I just got to a 96 today. My defense is a 97 and my offense is a 95.
I'm not even a pure 96. I have no money spent in this game. They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. I just need to get the ball off before I get tackled. Speed things up here. On first down, Rogers got his man complete over the middle. That's Johnson. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. On second down, McCaffrey. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Oklahoma. No, I'm let I'm pressing the button. That's his third sack in his mouth. Now let me stop, chat. I gotta fucking convert here. Mama, Mc... Mama, 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 Mama! Damn it! Fucking. This whole O line got abilities. I just peeped that shit. Escaping the pressure right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. And that was well defended. And as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen. You said what? You get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're going to have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. Vic with the incompletion there on third down. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive. But couldn't Come on, let's get a stop. Let's get this stop. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They want to embarrass us. Again, it's Vic. Let's go! Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. The Seahawks go for it, but can't convert. And it'll be that was for Mama. On downs. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. They'll be caught by Rice. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. That is Warren Sapp. Now Rodgers. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw pulled in by Jefferson. Now he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. That's from the competitive pass. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Isn't the Sun God better? It's the Packers who have the football but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. I feels you. Now a first and ten at the eleven. Over, 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 over. Rogers again now. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down.
Manana. To throw is Rogers. Oh wow. It could be. If we don't get another stop quick, it could be a lost cause. The Packers on third down. A you remind me of a guy that I once knew. Rogers now to throw. Why he went out like that? Yo, boy, 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 boy. Boy, 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 boy. These niggas don't want me to win this game. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, you're giving him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now Bro. you just don't get careless, take care of the ball. Now they work this well on the field across the 35. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and ten. Now again, left side, it's Dickerson. Look at this. This nigga made a butter. Across midfield and into Green Bay territory. 45 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Good gain there on first down. and keeps him in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Now, meanwhile, the throw. Oh, man, we needed, we needed points away. earlier in the game. Was somebody in the crowd to speak in Spanish? So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Michael Vick. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. To throw, Vick. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll wind up getting That's, that's just... That's beautiful. And I need some juice. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Despite the late lead, Vic's going to throw. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Eric Dickerson. What type of shit is that? I need some juice. Coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. What do I? What else do I do? What else do I need to do? Like extra point by Butker is on two. What else do I need to do? Now Simply sponsor your boy Jelly. I make the best juice. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to run. Man, we let mama down, y'all. We let mama down. I wasn't able to finish the story. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? Oh, come on! You're so fragile. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Yeah, you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. That's why Bo Jackson didn't get a ring in real life. And he's caught. And he's 
Is it just me, chat, or are my players stopping when they get the ball before they run? Uh, don't start catching the balls now. Yo, GG's though, man. Team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. So they absolutely pinch a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field, so you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one. So that'll do it from here. Now I got the rushing yards I needed. Fucking lost. Fuck you, Buffalo. It should make that sound every time that X pops out. Just... With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gardner. Charles, you talk about story. Young dog, what up, bro? Ends and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without. Yo, dog. Oh wow, and I said fuck Buffalo like before the game started. That's crazy. What are the odds? If he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the punter now, Pat McAfee, to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Josh Allen. Second down coming up. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Uh, no money spent. The theme I you like to run is legends, but they took that car, they took that chemistry out. I don't know why. What about you, Sticky? You got a Seattle theme team? I'm about to say, if that shit would have rolled out of bounds, I would have been pissed. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it. And not realizing the danger looks. Way to hold on to that. Soon we'll switch to Seahawks with the 99 Prez drop today. Right now I run 25 combine and 676 wide. Okay. Damn. Damn. That's why I feel like I'd be lacking, man. Mad people's got schemes and themes, and I ain't got shit. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's <laughs> Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. He gets this one complete to Rice. He's going to have the Packers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. 
Ah. Oh. Combine players give motivator chems so they have three out of three on fourth. Four of the boost. Damn. Damn. Mississippi State man Chris Jones with a sack there. Rodgers now after the sack. He'll lead the pack up on third and long. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. Uh, once I seen he didn't get enough coverage, I should have just threw his axe. He was wide open. Here's Allen on first and ten. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. And now we'll hook up downfield on second down. Why do they make me click on to the wrong person? That's, yo. They click on to whoever they want. Charles, I had an offensive coordinator tell me one time that they designed every play to score. I don't know how true that is, but he had to run a long way after that catch. Heck of a play. Fuck out of here, that, man. He was designing run after catch in every play. <laughs> I mean, that's the only way to put it in there, and that's what we got on that one. Nice catch. Young dog. Great play. The help of EA, my man's got to that. Oh! Like, damn! Like, get off of me, bro. Hey, on. Easy, easy, easy. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. He was supposed to score first anyway. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. He was supposed to score first anyway, right? What is this? This is a different formation. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Wow. This is intercepted. Picked up by Champ Bailey. And the Bills are going to take possession here at the wow. six-yard line. So after the INT, it's Allen. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. First down, here's the run with Cole. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Allen running you son of a bitch. Powering his way 
his way forward. And they're going to have this across midfield and in. Bro, and I put the shit on him. A big time gain there on the keeper using his legs to hurt him. First down. Allen off the play fake. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, <laughs> even for those big tight ends who you would think can absorb that contact. And this throw will complete. For the defender, at that time, it's going to lead to third down. Here's Allen to throw it. Who's man's? Just a yard or two shy of the ten. Give him thirty-two yards as we inch our way to the two-minute warning. Firing quickly is Allen. That's complete, and he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here. Second and eleven. Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else with the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Like a score, we can turn this around. And the 10 year vet knocks it through the goalpost. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing the coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2020, the firemen. That's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Here's a throw. Complete right side to start things out. And he has the 40 before he's out of bounds. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. He's got his man sharp, complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. This duo locked in 14 yards there, and a first down. To throw, it's Rodgers. Throw left side, completion to Rice. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. That is caught at the seven. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think. Well, it's a Packers touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown ground. And the Packers are on the board here. In the final we needed that. The first half. Extra point After going scoreless last game, I was about to be nervous. I'm like, can we not score? Shout out to Sticky. Three times. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. 
Now a second and ten. Allen going to throw. Open man is Keyshawn Johnson. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. This vertical shit all day. Like, come on, bro. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And he's got this to Jefferson. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds. That's a 51 yard field goal. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To the air, Allen. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this is going to be intercepted. Snatched by the safety, Ed Reed. Ah! Brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. Almost. Imagine? Nah, that would have been wild. Ed Reed. Two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for a quarter. You never know. I thought he'd be on siding. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 the score as we resume action on EA Sports. And the half will begin with a tough. What adjustments is being made now? Because he ain't quitting. You know that he ain't quitting. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far in the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little more minimum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulting in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Rodgers throw complete there to Johnson. They'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Now Rodgers. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Rodgers now on first down. That'll be caught by Rice. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it's second down. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10 yard line. Rodgers again now. And he's got it. A gain of nine there. Sets up second and goal. I will take it. The sneak successful from a yard out, and the Packers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point by Badgley up and good, and the lead is now 14 to 10. We took the lead, man. After being down 10 zip. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the 
kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Huh. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, uh, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. I've seen it that time. Come on, Channing. I've seen niggas leap and catch that. Time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes, because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Damn. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out. He, I feel like he might score. You are watching I feel like he might score. Team, He's moving up pretty darn quick. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Allen. And incomplete on the deep. Imagine they would have gave that to him. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Flushed out right. Yo. This is going to result in another first down. Wow. Made at the Packers 22 yard line. Now Allen. And this is caught for the Bills. Yo. What a play. That last play. I'm still on that one. Of the afternoon. And the Bills answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 17-14. Imagine he onsides it. I can't pick a play. It's not letting me. Is not letting me pick a play, so. Now after the touchdown here, <coughs> McAfee to kick. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Here's Rodgers to throw. That's complete to show. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Ray Corley's number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. I <laughs> got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, Definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Wow. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. To throw is Rodgers. 
Got a man right side. It's sharp. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. This is very important. I make this. This is fourth and a yard. Now Rogers gotta have this one. If he would have dropped that. Now Rodgers. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. To throw is Rodgers. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. I can't pick a play. To get the ball to their running back in open space because they have the ability to make people miss and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. And so I'm sure a nice tackle on that play. A big play in this football game. Third down and one. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10 yard line. They still got two timeouts. Got to start using them, don't they? You absolutely have to. You save them for this situation, but you have to use them. What? Wow. Wow. Fucking, fucking Jesus. Yo. We gotta have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And showcasing those strong legs on that run. Getting through one tackle. Now she winds up getting eight there. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, it tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you. Son of a biscuit. Useless, that's what this is. Need to get some training points back. I think the other ones are worth like what, a hundred? <laughs> 44 <laughs> Yo son uh, My season comes down to this last one My season comes down to this last one The Mighty D's D's nuts Charles Davis is always Patrick Willis. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks. Yo, Certainly Mighty D's, what up, bro? And nowadays, I don't think you can get by. Yo, a one. Without a top-flight quarterback, the way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has, and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Hey, 
A1. What up, bro? How you feeling today? Here's the punter now, Pat McAfee, to get this one started. And off we go. For Let's just try our hardest. We're back playing Buffalo again. Here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one. Let's go out there and try our hardest. You know, because that's all Jesus asks us. Oh, look, it's double Bo. It's triple Bo Jacksons. They'll start here with Jackson. Five yards on the game's first play. Second down. They can still do this shit. A pretty decent game. From the 21, here's second down and five. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Jackson now. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Y'all see this shit? And hey, y'all gonna say I'm trash, but this is what this man is doing. They run again with Jackson. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now. And search of four yards here to pick up the first down. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 37. They'll try the right side here with Bo. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25 yard line. Oh. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Jackson. Come on. That's phony. He's going to be taken down right at the 10 yard line. Oh, it's a well designed play here. Three wide receivers in the formation. They're all going to run deep routes to put pressure on the safeties. And then they let their tight end cut his route off a little shorter and work toward the middle of the field. That's a difficult route to try to defend. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. A first down carry for Henry. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A gain of three, second down. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Here's Jackson to throw. Steps away. And the step will come inside the five at the four. Third and four. Now it's Jackson. Flush to his right. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's four. He didn't like what he saw downfield, decided his best course of action was to take off and run. And that ended up being a gamble that did not pay off for him. Now they would have to gamble again if they want to keep this series going. No score after one on EA Sports. Riveting gameplay. I wonder how he's going to play on defense. He got Roman Reigns.
And the drive starts with a completion left side. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be second down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Throw left side, completion to Rice. All right, now I'm, I got more space now. I, that's all I wanted was just more space. Faced with a third and inches. To throw, it's Rodgers. Wow. This is picked up by the Bills. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S. Ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you get defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you, the ball comes out. Damn it! for the offense for two of this bounce there on the funnel goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone you don't want to lose one there you don't want to lose one and the best part because it went out of bounds they retain possession still have an opportunity to put points on the board that should be grounding because who's over there Only reason, uh, and they gave me a fumble. On first down, that leads to a second and ten. Bitch. Sierra Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta, Shield. I missed. Oh! It was like a long time that we got a pick where the nigga didn't have to turn around and do some dumb shit. Let's go! If he's running that sink. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not hearing something else to that one for the You're not hearing maybe one and say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Our season lives on. We fight for it tomorrow. Jameer, the God, you never let go. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about oh Jesus, he got a lot of those Ring of Honor dudes. With our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. Yo, Jameer. The way the game is played. With all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the punter now, Pat McAfee, to get this one started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Mm. Ben Roethlisberger. That's different. Look how big this dude is. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Here's Roethlisberger. Ben Roethlisberger. Derrick Henry. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 
Ben Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger on first down. And his throw is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the what kind of name is that? Roethlisberger. Like, he, that's not American. That can't be American. And forcing the incompletion. Let's go. Losing yardage. They'll be back at the 46. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll buy some time right. What the fuck? Inside the 35. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 36. Gotcha. Sexy. Keyshawn Johnson. I feel like that was a different place. And the commanders have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. No. Verticals. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Extra point by we were supposed to catch that with Ed Reed, man. Come on. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. A three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Throwing is Rodgers. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Oh, I'm glad I could inspire. To me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got a man right side. It's sharp. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Rodgers going to throw. Throw left side complete to Sharp. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. First 
first carry for Christian McCaffrey. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. This is second and eight. To throw is Rodgers. That's complete to show. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Third catch for him on his drive alone, and it'll give him the first down. And they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. He feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the pro caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Oh. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Here's Rodgers. Looking middle, and that's complete. Nice game of eight that time, and it's second and goal. McCaffrey is in. Touchdown, Packers. That was easy. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Fucked up. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Oh, you know. Starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Henry running right. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They go play action now. Roethlisberger. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Miles Kim just would not be denied. Exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going the wrong direction for the offensive guys. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by nine time pro bowler Ed Reed. And the Packers are going to take over. My boy. set to get this drive started the Green Bay offense at the line they'll start in excellent field position following the INT now left side of completion is tight in and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50 he's on the John Madden now, now on first down. oh wow Consecutive interceptions here early on in this game. Setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. Damn. I feel like everybody else, it looks like everybody else is open except my boy. Avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early. I think both teams are trying to find an advantage. We know that. Can one of them break away and take control of this game? They set up the screen for Henry. And taking it across midfield. It was a screenplay. A shotgun hand off to Henry. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Second and nine. Second and nine. 
They go play action with Roethlisberger. Damn! My boy Ed. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Get out of here. A little too good there. And it's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. He was a toilet. Damn it! That's a pick six. Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone. Damn. See the pick six. And, Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal. In the case of a defense, they want to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. Well, damn. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced at to start all. at the 12 yard line. At their own 12 yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. Come on! Come on! What the fuck? This is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back to back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two for one without ever even giving up the football. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Rodgers again now. Complete. Jefferson to target. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that will bring up second down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. First down now with that clock rolling. Here's Rodgers to throw. He's got his man sharp, complete. And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. Connected here with Christian McCaffrey. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers! That's like every timeout I had. from a few steps into the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. And with only nine seconds remaining, with not much time, we'll see how they play this. Play action. It's Roethlisberger. Open man down field is Johnson. 
And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. It's Roethlisberger. That's down the field for Jefferson. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Snatched by the safety, Ed Reed. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining. And what will be the final action of this first half? So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. <laughs> I just found out they're going to add the Star Wars, that, 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 that song from the bar. It's going to be in the Fortnite Festival. All right, we got a second quarter to play. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put out, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you got to think. We can go out and really run our offense where we did in the first half. But I'm a defensive player. All I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? They have dumped this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at the 46 yard line. Now, first down, Rodgers. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Just need a yard here, second and one. To throw, it's Rodgers. Incomplete. Well, he's been targeted quite a bit on this drive, and finally I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him, made it very tough for him to get the ball. Rodgers to throw once more. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got the Packers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Throwing is Rodgers. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. Oh, Lord. Come on. Who are you throwing it to, bro? He's been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. On play action, it's Rodgers. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 20. I get to get away. The all-pro in there to take him down. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. Touchdown! A 22-yard touchdown play. And the Packers have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Had I not made it, I was going to kick my three. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. I was gonna kick my three. It's too many times I let up three points and I've and I could have had it. And no chance. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. 
Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is, they just saw... Oh, my boy, Ed Reed, bro. It's third and goal from the 14. Throwing now is Rodgers. Throw complete there to Jerry Rice. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. This is caught. And it's a Packers touchdown. Keyshawn Johnson from eight. He almost ran out. I did pick up Ed Dickerson, JJ Wines for Apollo Monster. Shit! A1 got the All Star team just now. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And oh, okay, forget the field goal. That looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the. Yeah, shut him up. If we keep it up, our season still lives on. Here's the punter McAfee to kick it away. I just need LT. What's his what's the highest overall LT they got in the game now? Because I got LT, I think I had a 95 on the team. But he's like he's the he's in the secondary. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking Oh, ring of honor. Of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that we're having a tough patch. This two show pass, this two show pass, and it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Wow! Shot that's complete. Touchdown, Washington! What does that mean? And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Oh. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. What do you think he's going to do, y'all? Oh, he's regular kicking it. I thought he was going to also. Michael Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. You're going for Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence tailoring Tony Gonzalez from Pax. So why? Why? Why are they so special? ready to get their next drive underway and with that last touchdown I white mean, nights for a good finish here white so nights consider charles oh it's a very close game Let me sit up. here in the fourth quarter defensively they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket so the chess match you gotta zip it lock it and put it in your pocket what do you do, do you run the john ball? madden you try to bury them with another score and how about 
indispensable. Do you use your timeouts and this opportunity? Or what do you have the two minute warning? So it's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. Now Rodgers. A short one going to be taken Woo! by Schultz. That is first catch so far. They held him under wraps, but he's got a first catch. Now that he was held under wraps, this is the first time he's been on the field. You have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone. Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I mean, it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, go to zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And he's got a first down there after a gain of the bad flow. As the clock will stop right now for the two-minute warning. Let's bring this one home. If I can get at least to the 20, it'll be a good day. Let's take it home. Extra point by Badgley up and good. And the lead now up to 14. And our, hopefully our, the way it's looking, our season's going to still live on. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. Imagine we would have just got a fumble again. They bring him down just outside of the 15. Back to my boy Ben Roethlisberger. Accepted and it backs the offense up a little I bit. guess someone meant morally gave up. <laughs> Looking like it. Penalties not what they needed here. First and 15. Inside handoff, Henry. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. What an advantage having a lead guy to build a defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Now Roethlisberger. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. 
picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And into the end zone, it's a pick six and a Packer touchdown. They're part of this defense now with multiple interceptions in this game, but this time they say turnabout is fair play because remember, they had a pick six on the other side, and now they get a pick six of their own. Yeah, they actually added to some of their nice play throughout this ball game. A good effort by them to secure another interception on this one. A better effort to take it all the way back for six. And how about an exceptional effort to match the opposition pick six earlier in this game? So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And a mistake, a surprising mistake there in the kicking game as he sends that one out of bounds. GG's, Jameer. You played a hell of a game. You're the first person I see with Roethlisberger. I give you points for originality, man. You ain't like everybody else. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. 10th carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll fight for 10 rushes, negative 4 yards. I don't think I've ever held a, a running back that bad before. They want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Ring of RTH. ROTH ain't that ain't bad. What is that? Again, it's Henry. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare after the GG's, man. And that was the quickest we ever got up out of there. Roethlisberger. Oh. I didn't know he had an abbreviation. He's not bad. He's just slow. Big body Ben. He run like a sack of potatoes. And our season lives on. We are 3-2. and two. With Charles Yo, Davis, Chris, always, OG TV. Gone. What up, Chris? Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks. Oh, I want to spell his business. whole name. Now, you lazy. <laughs> you could have just said Ben. With all the responsibility he has and how the ben ain't that bad. We would have knew who you were talking about. He's not on the top of his game. Your team's not going to benefit at all. Yo, Chris, OG TV. What up, my boy? Here's the punter now. To get this one started, and off we go in Madden Ultimate. Slow as fuck, right? Yeah. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down what a run. To throw right away is Vic. He's got the Hall of Famer, Harold Carmichael. And, down right and Mr. Harold. Four yards on the pickup. And Bo Jackson. Wow. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards in the first. It was the spin move. Wow, and they showed it again. I think you hold uh, one of these two. It's one of these two. L1 or L2. That's how you freeform. They run it with a Hall of Famer, Eric Dickerson. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe up to the 41. From the shotgun, it's Vic. That is complete. It's Eric Dickerson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. So in the Packer territory now, here's first and 10. Down at the 31. I think it's L2 is the high ball, L1 is the free throw. If I'm not mistaken. Here's Michael Vick. Looking left sideline, incomplete. 
backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. They still can't get it. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away, but could not. Eric Armstead able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. The seventh play now, this opening drive. This is third and long, though. They look like a bunch of highlighters out there. Here's Vic. He's going to let this one go deep. And that will be incomplete. Now they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defender's minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. My boy Chris, good shit, bro. Closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. Pause. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. See, at that point, you needed a free form. Get another famous stop, right? Now again, left side, it's Dickerson. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. The second down, Vic. Try to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And the Packers are going to have it here as they start at their own seven. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. That's caught. It's Jerry Rice. And a productive gain out to the 14 after starting at the 7. It's a gain of 7. Now Rodgers. Down there, right side, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It's a gain of 35. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From midfield, here's Rodgers. He's got his man Sharp complete. Saw that coming. Nothing after one on EA Sports. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second and five situation. Night train. What up, bro? Does anybody know his real his first name? Receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. 
a little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the 9. A good pick up there, a 22. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about, and it's a Packers touchdown. Keisha Just Johnson, walk right in. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Richard Lane is a good is a good real name. Is that it? Is it is it Richard? Is his real name? Is his good real name? And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing. Woo! The struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by the free safety, Eric Berry. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. The best starting field position you could possibly have. First and goal from the one. Here's Rodgers toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop them. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. Still a long ways away from that happening, but that has to be what they're thinking right now. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys in the out. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Thank God. Not being able to capitalize on the one yard line would have been embarrassing. Point by Badgley up and good, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Now, after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. This take it in at the goal line, and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. I keep thinking it's in front of me. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. He gave up. No confidence in himself. Our season still lives on. And now we're positive for the season. Four and two. We got two days left of this battle pass. Oh, what? Pass for... Nigga! Like, what I gotta get to? I gotta get to 38. Yeah, that's not happening. 10 days. Alright, chat. Did you boost the free Madden middle linebacker card? Yeah, but I uh, I only got to like a 95 of them. And my, my current linebackers are better than that. With 
Charles Davis. Rohan, what up, bro? Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and oh, God. Two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best. Dance crew, business. Cam Jordan. I don't think you get by for and a 99 without a top flight quarterback. Aaron Donald. What is his team name? All the responsibility he has. Chef Borardi. Chef. Your team's not going to benefit at all. I can't see it. Chef Boy. It says, it's Chef Boy Art. Oh, yep. Yo, what up, Rohan? My man's got a mic. Nice to meet you, man. Where are you from? You from Denver? Massachusetts? Why are you not playing with the Patriots? He said, fuck the Patriots, that's why. What's your record for the season right now? Oh, you just play to play? Yo, chat, my man's Rohan is a chill dude. Here's Montana to throw. Get his ass. Yes, I am, bro. You want to sub to the channel? We live on YouTube right now. It's my gamer tag. Let me get that. Let me get that sub, bro. I'll be much. I'll be really grateful for that. Oh. Yeah, my YouTube. If you type in my gamer tag on YouTube, you'll see it. We live right now, fam. Like I'll pause it for you. He said thank you. <laughs> it's just jelly, bro. Well, not bro, but you know what I mean. It's just jelly. I T Z J U S Jelly. You found it? No way. He most definitely did. I have it. Yeah, yo, Rohan. You know, most people have. You know, just it's up to you if you want to have bad karma. You watch my screen, you will lose your wallet next week. I'm telling you this. And we don't want that, right? You really don't want... I'm, so I wouldn't suggest you watch my screen. You ever lost your wallet before? I have. There are certain things we as men... If we lose them, we will shit bricks. And that is our wallet, keys, phone... Those are the big three. Wallet, keys, and phone. You lose one of those, you shitting yourself, chat. Ah! Damn. Damn, this blitz is crazy. Y'all hit a horse? Y'all hit a horse? Come on, life. Nah, I'm punting it. I'm not dumb. You said what? I'm gonna be able. I'm gonna beat that blitz, bro. Joe Montana here going to the air on first down. What's your team's overall? Both. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. 
After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Montana. Who's man's man? Wow. I got to beat this blitz now. Oh, oh! You hate to see that shit. I know from experience, chat. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13 yard line and no further. Oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, can you bail me out? Why isn't the clock? Well, why are the clock stopped? Six nothing. Our score after one. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter, as they've got it with a first and ten. Yo, Rohan, why are you so quiet, man? I think your mic is tweaking. I think that's what it is. At least he stopped blitzing me, right? This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Now Rodgers. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third. This never works. The case. Rodgers with a keeper. And no signal, but I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. Another shot from the one on second and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. Lord. And he's going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They lost four there, and it's third down. On the bootleg. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple what? touchdowns. So let's sort this out. Illegal touching. Well, they're going to try this thing. 
They're at the five, fourth and goal. They're going to go for it. We'll see run, probably pass to both in the arsenal. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Had to do that shit twice. Keyshawn Johnson, a five-yard touchdown. And the Packers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And they take the lead here at seven to six. Illegal touching is crazy. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. What the fuck? And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. <laughs> that was a genuine... <laughs> Yo. Offense at the line, ready to go. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace. Let's go! Come on, Montana. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! You are what the kids are calling selling it. What am I doing? What the fuck is this? So they'll get another shot on offense. Why do you keep yo, I'm I don't onside kick unless I need to, sir. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will Who for who? At the 25. Oh damn, you about to go into maximum overdrive? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm, uh, I'm shaking. I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm just like, when the nigga say that, that's like when you put the nigga and he laugh. To get away, yo, you're used to dudes being mad toxic. You're used to dudes going for two and onside kicking it. I see. Is it still dire? Is this still a dire situation for me? May I ask why you say that? So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. You threat? Are you threatening us? And I don't quite know what's happening here. It's a first down, but the field goal team is out on the What field. the fuck are you Are you okay? This is nowhere near being good from that distance. And the deficit will hold at 15. Thanks, Rohan. Damn. All right, chat. My man's gave up. And just like that, we are in the playoffs, though. Playoff time. Silent Charles Warfare, Davis, what up, bro? Always, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. Will Levis, and nowadays, that's I don't think you get by for long periods of time. He's playing with Green Bay as well. And we're in Santa Clara. Oh God! Here's the punter now, Pat McAfee, to get this one started, and we are underway from Santa Clara. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. 
Oof. Excuse me. Yeah, it's like he's playing with Aaron Rodgers. Levis will look to throw on the first play from scrimmage. A short throw to Musgrave. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rally to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you Is that McCaffrey said. back there? First quarter, can you do it all game long? They oh, fuck that up. Holy shit! Nigga got up like the Undertaker, like yo. He's going for it, so. Certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on the flash when he broke out of there, and they forced him out with almost nothing to show for his arms. And he is going to have a Packers first down as the defense couldn't come up with a big play. In fact, they got six more than they needed, a gain of eight on fourth and two. Levis to throw it. This one complete to Jordan Reed. The man's just playing very methodical right now. Here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Ninth play of the drive coming up. And certainly not an easy one on third and long. Back to throw, it's Levis. He's in the space past the 25. And he's got it all the way down to the 12 yard line. Able to convert on third and I gotta remember that. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. This is a. No, I thought this was a run. Second and two. And yeah, he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. That's going to go down as a loss of five. And it brings up third down. We're scoreless. He's going to do that again? Same formation? No. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Levis sets up to throw here. Touchdown, Packers! Debo Samuel, a Not bad. And the Packers post the first I can only imagine what kind of defense he's running. I fucked up. I picked the most. Yep, I fucked up. This is probably a turnover. This is going to be a turnover. Yeah. Thank God. Why is it like I was about to drop a load? 
his offensive line. They lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football. Must be a bad connection. Why is the clock stopped? 25 yards there on the catch and run. It's the longest two seconds I've ever seen. Can't have me on the football field. I'll be blacking on refs. On first and ten. Hey, this ain't the NBA. You can't get in a ref's face. I'll be damned. You see me run up, take my helmet off, like, what the fuck? Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we are tied at seven. He grabbed my face mask. Each team's had it, each team has scored. Seven, seven here is the kick. He said, what down is it? Fifth. No, it would be fourth down, you dumbass. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Oh shit. Let's see how this works out. To get their next drive underway. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own. Oh, tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marshawn Lattimore. That worked out. That worked out. I can't believe it. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college. My, yo, boy! Yo, Mean Joe. Boy! <laughs> mean Joe, crazy. Help me out. Please, Mr. Telephone Man. Uh. I missed. I didn't. one at three and he knew that all 
All right, can I get to the bowl? One more game. Arcade Pac-Man. Yo, Pac! What up? Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarters. Ted Hendricks, Troy, and Solos. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods. Is it Minnesota or is it, or is it Tampa? Which one is it? Like, oh. We're in Minnesota, but he's playing with Tampa. Yo, Pac-Man, what up, my boy? Bo Jackson. Jackson looking to throw right away. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. That's a pretty good opening possession defensively. And you know the goal is to make something of a statement, especially on the road with your first defensive possession, isn't it? Go right out and establish your base. The fucking verticals every time, bro. The fucking verticals every time. certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and it's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. And they're going to get two more. He's got it. So that didn't take long. Quickly, 8-zip. Well, I guess the opening drive touchdown wasn't enough. They wanted two instead of one on top of that. What's next? An onside kick? Going for the crusher. All right, they don't want Come on. Just kicking the standard extra point and kind of letting you off the hook for giving up a touchdown. Now they want to really rub your face in it and say, guess what? We're going to be doing this all game long. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. Fair catch called for and taken back near the goal line. So that'll come out to the 25. The verticals every time. Why? Oh, look, it's Reggie White. He's like, don't look at that. That's my boy Reggie. Ted Hendricks, Troy Palomalu out there. Them niggas didn't even let me breathe. He was trying to tie the game. Now 
And this is fielded just short of the goal line, but the fair catch means this drive will begin at the 25. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Jackson. What the fuck? Downfield to Johnson. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. 36 yards on the play. So three plays already first and goal. And they are wasting little time. God damn it. to get this drive started the Green Bay offense at the line damn it
the shotgun to McCaffrey. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Throwing is Rodgers. A quick throw, but incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in five minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. They'll get this underneath to McCaffrey, and he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Now it's Rodgers. Come on, why can't y'all fucking protect me? Working for this shit right now. Here in the first half is they'll kick this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And with Rodgers behind center, you wonder if they'll take one shot at this. They're going for Jefferson downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime. Let me attempt to roll something real quick. Quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Glad to have you with us from Minneapolis. Third quarter here, second and ten. Now Rodgers. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. Now inside the 25. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Packers have cut the lead back down to two. They'll look to throw. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. So all square here in this third quarter. Had to get sticky on away. him. Now we got ourselves a game. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. <laughs> Let's go! Concerns on that sideline. Their defense surrenders the tying touchdown to start the third quarter, and now the offense follows that up by committing the turnover. And I think you're sensing the exact same thing that I'm sensing that the energy, much different here in the second half. We talk about it a lot, but you can feel it kind of rippling through the stadium, and it's affecting the players. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. First and ten, here's Rodgers. And he's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Here's Rodgers to throw. Got a man right side, it's short. And it's a Packers touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown ground. And the Packers have oh, in my game. Now. this third quarter. This time to move out in front. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. And I missed. Oh, shit. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the Ooh. Two but they've got to take Give me that, please. 
this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Let's go! <laughs> the double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Packers are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 42. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throw left side, completion to Rice. And a run pass midfield just a yard or two shy of the 40. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Now a throw here to his running back. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up second down. Rodgers now to throw. Complete. Jefferson the target. Touchdown, Packers. Four touchdown passes now for Aaron Rodgers. And the Packers get another third quarter touchdown to add on. Skip it, B -bop. Let's go. Extra point by Badgley. Up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. This taken in right around the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. It's all right, guys. We're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. The frustration is definitely setting in because they've thrown it to him over and over, unable to come up with a catch thus far. I think he knew he would have his challenges against his secondary. I don't think he saw a goose egg at this point in the game. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before? <laughs> He's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Snatched by the safety, Ed Reed. And he'll take it across midfield and down the 48-yard line. So I'm on. The it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Oh, Why did I say that? Shit, down. I don't know. And it's second down. <sighs> that tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make that's it That's what I'm going for. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Five yards, now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play Matter because fact, that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Uh, got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity game. to convert on third down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Here's Rodgers. Ah, oh, he caught it. Intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked by Tim Hendricks. And the Buccaneers are right back in this football game. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly down two scores. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by nine-time Pro Bowler Ed Reed. 
points that we've seen scored, neither defense has been at their best, but these guys have been a little bit better, Charles, and a nice interception there. Yeah, you're right about that, Brandon. Let's face it. Woo. It's not always how you start, it's how you finish, right? So maybe you have a rough game all the way along, but if you make a big play like that at the right time, it can make everything turn out just okay. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. On second down, McCaffrey. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Perfect. Badgley able to punch this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. Now we got a three-score so game. Almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I get no, on you for giving up the game right Hopefully here. Hopefully not. I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, Two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. Here's the punter McAfee to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid. Hey, we got the same amount of yards. Take me to the Super Bowl. Because I don't remember. Just take me to that bowl. I'm back in the Super Bowl. I got an upgrade token. I'm back in the Super Bowls chat. <coughs> Can these niggas be upgraded again? Let me check. No. Um, no. We're going to get you up there, Rondé, eventually. <laughs> we need 12 more of those. But let's go to the Super Bowl, chat. We won two, one, two, three, four, five, six straight. And now it comes down to this. My 10th Super Bowl appearance. All right, you saw the challenge on the screen. I don't need to repeat it. It's solo challenge. Madden Ultimate Team, go earn your keep. What up, Trey? Looks like it, it looks like it comes down to me and you, bro. No, I had to play two playoff games. This is not your Super Bowl? And off we go from Las Vegas. So this is your first playoff game. Yeah, no, nah, so this this counts as your first playoff game. This is my Super Bowl. 
fires the dangerous Tyreek Hill. When I tell you, I worked my ass off to get here, bro. Yo, bro, we've been live streaming since the start of the season, bro. We live right now, bro. Oh, shit, he got Randall cutting hit. And they'll run the option to start the drive. Breaks through the contact. Randall cutting hit. Past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Great way to start the drive. What's your team's overall? In a first down. Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself. Get the first down and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, you think I can... I believe he's thinking, I can get a few more yards if I just lower my oh, it's, shoulder. It's, it's higher than mine. So here's that second voice in his head. His head coach... Nine, I'm a 95 saying, overall team. No, 90, I actually got to a 96 That's overall today. running here as he'll take <clears> this across <throat> midfield and down to the 47. So on the other side of the Same. field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. My defense is a 97. My offense is a 95. As he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You think I can get you to subscribe? They'll run it again with him. Yeah, it's my game attack, yeah. We live right now. Damn, will he go down? On the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. On a second and long, YouTube. it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. How many rings has your team won already? For glory, looking to get your name in the headlines. You do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people Since this, up, this Madden, Madden 24. And actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. Yeah, you go to your lead. After this game, you can go to the leaderboard. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, well, he's actually kicking it. try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And, and that is nothing. Good. Nigga, Trey, Trey Young with it. That was bombs Trey, right Trey there. Young. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's three zip. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they moved the ball on the ground because wow. we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really goes through the entire offense because when you're running the ball effectively just about everyone's involved it's not just the guy carrying the football it's everyone blocking for him both inside and on the perimeter that's what i feel like if i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna go for it you know what i mean I ain't no need a pump fake was you able to find the channel rogers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 14 yard line he'll look to throw and that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. So now second Found it. 10 after the incompletion on first down. You laughing at what, the thumbnail? Rogers going to throw. That's downfield into the hands of Sharp. Oh, you thought I was lying? Be honest, you thought I was lying? A gain there of 21 yards. It's a nice zone breaker right there. Take the tight end, move him out to the slot. Then have him run a corner route versus the zone coverage, which means he's going to be behind. I need to, I have, if I win this, this would be my eighth ring. Right on him. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. If I win this, it'll be number eight for me. Second down. Ran a perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And it's fucked up. This is your first playoff game. Like, 
and they put you against somebody who's in the Super Bowl. That happens. That shit. You're talking to the guy that that. You know what I'm saying? You be you work so hard to get to the damn playoffs, and then it's you go up against somebody in the Super Bowl throwing fucking hard because they want to get their ring. At least you don't got a cheesy ass triple Bo Jackson on offense team running nothing but bubble screens all day. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. That's caught. It's Jerry Rice. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Because that's what they think. Money, they think, oh, I bought my, my team's supposed to be on Peterbilt. I bought all this money. I spent all this money. That's how they feel. So the minute you expose that team, they out. And I don't want to play this sh That's why sometimes, bro, scheme over team, my bro. Now Rogers. Wow. You ain't got Bo Jackson on defense, though. <laughs> Is that Chris Jones you 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 control? Again they'll throw with Rogers. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he's gonna Oh that's the Chris Jones that we had from that battle pass? I just nah 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 I got rid of him a minute ago. Nah, you know the longest tenured player on my defense would have to be Eric Berry, the team captain one. I He's a 97 now, but I had him since he was an 80. You know, because of the, the team captain upgrades. That's. I think this is the first Madden that I got a lot of my players by doing challenges and completing sets. Most of the times I get my Madden players by getting them in the auction house. Like I do that. But this was the first time that a lot of my players I got by doing like the sugar rush challenges, the real deals, the ultimate legends and shit like that. CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that. Woo! That shit was going fast. You made me forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. Nah, that's the auction house is my best friend. Forget about the guy. Joseph Reed. What, what up, Joseph? You're new to the channel. You have to be. I don't know you. I, I don't recognize that name. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. Got a nice job there on special teams. To All right, if we can limit him to another field goal. I'm six for nine in my Super Bowl. This is my tenth Super Bowl appearance. But thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. Get out of here, Tyreek Hill. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before. Tyreek. That's good for 28 yards. One play. Blue V Angel, you kicked me out of playoff. What? I do remember Blue V Angel. He said, you remember Blue V. Angel? You kicked me out of work. On second down, here's Henry. This man, I'm telling you, chat, is a truck. Get up, you ain't hurt, bitch. Imagine... You know what my issue is with Derrick Henry, that, that Derrick Henry that's in the battle pass right now? Like, I use, my running back right now is 93, Christian McCaffrey. Now, I got the Derrick Henry up to a 97. But Derrick Henry can't catch the fucking ball. You can't rely on that nigga to catch the ball. Derrick Henry got it like a 60 overall. Like, when it comes to his catching stat, it's like a 60. Where... 
My 93 overall Christian McCaffrey got an 85 catching. Come on, we need to stop. They're gonna try and throw. Wow! That's complete. he'll go down before getting this inside the third. Yo, he drank the secret stuff from Space Jam, son. Damn, damn, that's Justin Jefferson, son. Yo, when you got a chance, when you go to my channel, go look at my EXE plays, my EXE videos. You'll see some, you'll see some cool highlights and stuff. Illegal. Yeah, this this for him it's the playoffs. For me, it's the Super Bowl. He we can't afford nothing. We take what we can get. You know, it got to the point where I don't kick. I don't press, like, return until I see what you pick. Because <laughs> niggas be onside kicking. The one I do, the one I've run into is they'll do it where it bounces over my guy's head, and they'll get that shit. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, tempting to try and add to your lead. Yeah, solo battles is where you experiment real quick. You know what I'm saying? I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. On second down. Carry on. Oh my God. I really did too. Yes, yes, sir, Skip. Oh, my God. I didn't think he was going to leap like that. I did not think he was going to leap like that. I would have threw it to somebody else. Now I know. Look at that shit. Why is he on defense? Should be on offense with that kind of pass, with that kind of catch. Come on, we need this. Come on, people. Is there a certain card on your team that plays better than others? Uh, I would like certain ones, I guess. I think so. I would like to think so. As they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. I didn't hear we'll we'll Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Woo. I didn't want him to have a lead, chat. <laughs> I didn't want him to have a lead. I'll take it. Wow. This is like Super Bowl 97, chat. My Packers were supposed to go back to back, but John Elway and Shannon Sharp said, no, no.
That's a low scoring. Yo, the Super Bowl, you really see some low scoring games, man. Take. I'm telling you. Here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the I, That was worth it. I, I waited to the 26. Officially, so a net gain of one there. See, if I would have taken a knee, I would have made it to the 25. Um, to worth it. Drive underway. Now, this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. I got a lot more on the line here, man. You got a playoff game. I got a championship. Help a brother out. Who got seven catches? I'm a, I use my tight end a lot. What can I say? Is that bad? To throw, it's Rodgers. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. From midfield. A good one. Rogers. That'll be caught by Rice. And he's going to have a Packers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. You know, it's so interesting to hear how certain people could really, like, break shit. Yeah, you broke it down just now. Like, I'm impressed. The way you sound, I'm... Shit sounded professional, my guy. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Meanwhile, Rodgers... Damn, he punched me. And this is going to be another first down as he'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 17-yard line. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Oh, he got my boy Charles Woodson. I'm a big Charles Woodson fan. Come on. You know, I'm a Packers fan, bro. Oh, you're an Eagles fan. Why are you playing with the Broncos then? You know, I like the old Broncos uniform, that yellow on brown shit. I don't know why. I do. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. Oh, when you're away, you wear Eagles colors? I wear Packers no matter what. Even though my Packer colors are shit. You know what? Me off. They, they they don't give us instead of giving us the damn throwback jersey with the damn brown helmet blue jersey they could have gave us the one with the all green with the yellow numbers but nah my Packers get no love bro I wish my Packers had some fucking flavors we've been in the fucking league for almost a hundred years can we get some options Yeah, I played that one wrong. Uh, almost a hundred years. The fucking trophy is named after our coach, and we can't get no. We can't get a back. Was I on the guy you wanted to throw it to? The niggas will leap like Jordan. <laughs> Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's going to have a Broncos first. One more quarter separates me from Pater. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's the Broncos trailing, but they do have possession of the football. Watch the run to the left. Watch the toss, the pitch, whatever it's caused. The fucking play action. He was open too. I see what you wanted to do there. Come on, we need a, we need a, we need a, we need a. Try and get two more stops and escape this drive. 
Fucking Derrick Henry eat his Cheerios every morning. I need a better line. My guard. I need better guards. My guards are like 93s. My right guard and my left guard. Tyreek Pop 10, bro. He ain't giving you a good block. He'll give you a block, but not a good one. Uh, that's the next thing I'm saving up for is better guards. It's funny how that's considered a sack. The one closest to him. No, no, no funny shit. That's dead how that works. You remember that famous play where they were, I forgot, I think it was the Lions. And they were on the one yard line, like on their, like not, and then he ran out of bounds, like, as when he hiked it. Yeah, that counted as a safety for Jared Allen, because he was the closest one to him. Fucking verticals, chat. This is a run. Gotta go for it. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. And the Packers are right back in this football game. I thought he was gonna onside it. I was prepared. To the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away. A no chance! That's what you got! Are you nervous? Because I am. About set to get my, this drive my palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Mom spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. Mom spaghetti. Let me stop. They've got all their timeouts. Let me stop. Let me stop fucking with this man. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those. Gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. Do you think we're just going to run it three times and punch? Two minutes, chat. I can almost. Let me stop. Hey, yo. If more people join in, the song will, you know it's crazy. If I get a turnover, all you need is a field goal. Yo, son, less than a minute. This is what niggas pray for. To throw is Rodgers. That's caught. It's Jerry Rice. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Back to throw, Rodgers. Let's go, Shannon! Let's go, Shannon! Let's go, Shannon! 
It's a gain of four. MVP! Super Bowl MVP! So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now the Broncos... Woo! After starting one and two, chat. With 25 ticks remaining on one and two! And they'll indeed take a knee. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there. GG's, Trey. I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. G fucking G's, man. But my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. And I missed. <laughs> GG's though! Eight! We're eight top Super Bowl champions! Let's go! We was one and two and we, they doubted us! They doubted us! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! 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 I'm weak in the knee! Oh! Oh! I'll see you in the film room. Let's go. Operation started now. <laughs> Let's go. My man's got gray hands now. Go look at the videos from last season. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. This is what it's about. Woo, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. Eight Super Bowl ring. Tom Brady who? Tom Brady who? They said we was washed. They said Madden wasn't for us. Nigga, 14 to 12, bro. Let's go. Let's open these packs and call it a fucking stream. You looking at an eight times Super Bowl champion. Eight of them things. After starting one and two. Like, yo, bro. And it's all on tape. It's all there. Y'all can see it. I started off one and two, man. And at game four, when it was either one and three or two and two, I said, yo, I like, I think it's at Ed Reed. Actually, let's save that. Let's see what's up with that before we trade that in. Uh, look at this. Actually, let's save that. Let's see what's up with that before we trade that in. Maybe they can help us get to a set. See, these are the packs you want. You might fuck around and get lucky. Nope. Wow. Your boy got eight rings, man. To win seven straight. To get a yo chat from everybody here at Bounce Breakfast Game, and I can't do no more today, man. I did it. If I get it's my day off, so I might stream something later on. It's still early, but from everybody here at Bounce Breakfast Game, and you are now talking to the eight time Super Bowl champion, eight, eight rings. They doubted us, I doubted us, but we here. Keep liking and subscribing. Make sure to tell a friend to tell a friend. Like, share, subscribe, all of that good shit. And I will see y'all in the next one. Love you guys. It's been a fucking hell of a day. Let's go!